I remember my first Sienna game. I was six, maybe seven years old. We were visiting my grandparents in Albany. Grandma and my mom went shopping, so Grandpa took my dad and me to see a ball game. Play ball! It was the first time I'd ever been to one, and it was amazing. The players seemed to be larger than life. The smells of hot dogs and fresh cut grass filled the air. I was really excited, but honestly, I had no idea what was going on on the field. So when a ball was hit in our direction, of course, I was looking the wrong way. The next thing I knew, everyone around me jumped up. I was scared, so I closed my eyes. Here you go, kiddo. Getting that ball made my day. I don't think I let it out of my sight the whole way home. The next winter, Grandma and Grandpa moved to Florida, so we never went back upstate to visit them. back to Siena until I was in high school, when the time came for me to make an important decision. Claire, dinner's almost ready. Mom wants you to come down. Yeah, I'll be down in a bit. I'm just going over the rest of this college stuff. Have I told you how proud I am that you got into all these great schools? <laughs> Only every day. Well, it's true. Your mom and I never went to college, so this is a new experience for us, too. We're just glad you're not looking too far away. Except for this one. Yeah, Indiana may be a bit too far for me too, but all the others are only a few hours. Close enough for a day trip. And far enough away so I can clean my room before you get there. <laughs> but really, Dad, I don't know which one's the right fit for me. Honey? I have to help your mom with dinner. But remember, Claire, no matter what you decide, you know we're behind you. I'm sure you'll find the right fit, kiddo. As you probably guessed, I picked Siena. Like me, the college had changed a lot over the years. I guess you could say it too was growing up. Hey Mel, can you give me a hand? <laughs> For one thing, we were now called the Saints. And even though I was older, the campus still seemed like a big and wonderful place. It was filled with exciting things to learn and new friends to make. I felt so at home there. My dad was right. I'd found the right fit. The classes were interesting and tough. I learned about all sorts of things, history, science, art, even accounting. And the people I met were wonderful too. I met Kat on a service trip and Mel and I were on Senate together. But you know, the Friars, they really made the place special. They were the heart of the community. I want to first of all remind I met Father Dan my first day of class and we're still close today. Siena was just such a magical place. I felt like I had just gotten there and it was already time to leave. I'm so glad you finally got to meet Kat's parents. They're great, aren't they? Yeah, they seem really nice. I'm looking forward to having dinner with them tonight. Oh, you're going to love this restaurant. And how great are they to let me stay with them while Kat and I do our summer internship? They are really great. Can we talk about how great they are in the car? Your mom's waiting. I thought you said you were all packed up. I know, I know. It's just a few odds and ends. Anything I can do to help? Um, you can grab those suitcases. Careful, they're kind of heavy. Does Sienna know you're stealing bricks? Ha ha. I'll be down in a minute. So this is going to be your office. Take some time to unpack your things and get settled in. Uh, just don't forget, we do have a staff meeting at 1015. Sounds great. Thank you, and thanks for the opportunity. Uh, Claire, your resume is stellar. You're connected to the community. And besides, it's just great to have another saint on the team.
Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to show you around. I can't believe how much this place has changed in five years. Oh, we have to go and see the new science center. I was working in Albany and went back to Siena for my reunion. The campus had changed again, but it was still familiar, still home to me and my friends. I can't believe how beautiful this place is. They just started building it when I graduated. Oh, this used to be. Claire? Melissa? How are you? Hi. You look great. So do you, and so does he. Ah, hands off, he's all mine. Mel, this is Mark. Mark, this is Melissa. Nice she was a bio you. major too and tried to steal all the guys I was interested Half in. Of them, Max. <laughs> Are you coming in for brunch? Of course. I can't wait to see Kat. I haven't seen her since she moved. Thank goodness for I am. Do you think Father Dan's here? I think so. Would you guys like a picture of the table? Tonight we're going to your first Sienna game. Are you excited? Yes! <laughs> now do you remember what I taught you? Yes. Let's go stay. Perfect! You're a natural. Come on. Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting season of Sienna Saints Hi. basketball. This is Robert Lee here at the Times Union Center in downtown Albany on the Siena Basketball Radio Network. It's like it is every year. The expectations are high for the Siena Saints. Green and Gold Faithful are filing in on this beautiful sunny fall afternoon. As your Siena Saints are gearing up for the season opener. The energy in the building is contagious. Championship on three. One, two, three. Championship. Championship. 